New at 5, former Illinois State Senator Martin Sandoval now facing federal bribery charges. It's come months after his local and Springfield offices were raided by the FBI. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov reports the charges are tied to red light cameras. Box after box was dragged out of then Senator Martin Sandoval's state capitol office by silent federal agents in September. A clear sign Sandoval was in the feds' crosshairs for crimes yet to be stated. Now, federal prosecutors have laid them out in black and white, formally charging the former state senator, stating he corruptly solicited, demanded, agreed to accept, and accepted bribes for action tied to red light cameras, more than $10,000 worth. He's even accused of using his position as the head of the state's transportation committee to oppose legislation not favorable to red light camera companies. Corruption and self-dealing will not be tolerated. Said Governor J.B. Pritzker shortly after the Sandoval raids, which happened two days before federal agents raided other political offices in Sandoval's then district, including village halls in Lyons and McCook. Had over a thousand phone calls into my district office. Cook County Commissioner Jeffrey Tobolsky is also the mayor of McCook. He offered no comment on the raids then or now. Exactly how or if all these cases are connected is still to be determined. We may learn more about that soon. Sandoval will face a judge tomorrow morning. No one answered the door at Sandoval's southwest side home this afternoon. Sandoval is also facing a tax-related charge. Calls to his attorney, Dylan Smith, were not returned this afternoon. And this afternoon, the new state Senate president, Don Harmon, said this serves as a reminder of the challenge we faced in restoring the public's trust. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.